So I actually bought this PS2 Slim on eBay and it was really cheap. And the guy who was selling it didn't give a lot of description other than just saying it worked five years ago when they used to play it. So I was thinking there could be a chance that it works. But when I hooked it up to my TV, it would power on, but it wouldn't actually play a disc. And I started looking online and apparently this is pretty popular with the PS2 Slim version. Now here's one thing you could try to see if the disc will start spinning. And that is just to turn it over and try to play it upside down. So I went ahead and tried that and I didn't have much luck. So the second thing I tried, so I took a three pound weight and just laid it on the back of this. Cause I noticed this cover or lid seemed to be a little high in the back. And here's the weird thing. As soon as I put this weight on there, it started reading the disc. Like the disc started spinning. While I could just keep putting something on top of this for a weight while I play it, I wanted to open up the PS2 Slim and see if I could fix this from popping up. And you can see here, it does have a little bit of play with that cover. And I think that's part of the issue. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we've got. So first thing you gotta do is just take off these little rubber feet. And those just cover up the screws. So it looks like there's just four of those. I think I'll just use a knife to get the plastic one out. And so yeah, the plastic one pops out very similar. And it looks like there's two of those. On the, so you've got five screws to take out on the bottom. And just in case you're curious, this is a SCPH75001. I can't believe that this sticker is still on there. That's weird. So apparently on this model, you have to take that sticker off to void the warranty. Considering this is 2018, I don't think we're gonna have to worry about the warranty. Then it should lift right off fairly easy. So if you can see right here, this is the piece that has to stay down. So here's how you know if that's what it is. Let me put a disc in. This should start spinning as soon as you turn it on. So let's go ahead and try it. Now watch this. As soon as you push down this little black switch, it should start spinning. And I'll go ahead and there it goes. So there's two different ones. So is what I'm gonna do is just put a piece of tape on this back one because that's where the weight had to be. And that should fix it. Okay, so all I could find is this old cheap duct tape that I really don't like. But for this video, I'm gonna go ahead and try this. I actually prefer this black tape that's very similar to duct tape, but it's called Gorilla Tape. I'm just gonna use a couple screwdrivers to kind of push it down. Yeah, see I don't even think this is sticking very good. Let me try this disc again. 
So then you just push down on the other side to test it. I actually broke this using a toothpick. Don't ever use one. It's gonna break just like mine. Now I have to go to plan B and just try to remove this whole thing all together and solder the points together. So hopefully I can do that because I'm really bad at soldering. I'm just using this small soldering pin that I bought on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested, but I've got it turned up to 450. So all I'm trying to do is to heat this up enough. I'm just gonna try to keep melting this until I can get it all the way loose. And the nice thing about using this is I can actually pry this right out of there. Wow, that was really fast. So that actually worked really good. Uh, when you just heat it up, you can actually just pry that piece right off. So now you've got four points. I'm gonna try to connect those all by soldering them together. This kit that I bought actually has soldering. So I should be able to just melt that So I should be able to just put this blob on there and then kind of smooth it out. So I'm hoping by just putting that blob of solder nine right there, it'll connect those four points. So let's go ahead and turn this on and see what it does. All right, let's go ahead and turn it on. Now, the only thing we should have to do is push this corner down. Yes! Awesome! That's amazing. So there you have it. A permanent fix. Not really the way I intended to fix that, but I gotta tell you, that was fairly easy to do. And I, like I said, I'm horrible at soldering. So hopefully one of these ways will help you fix your PS2 Slim. Don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up if you haven't already. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.